Now they're down as far as they can go. Are we on the floor now? Yeah, just about. So, let's get the other side bolts out. One is nice and easy. Torch back on. It's what easy. Not too easy. That one's got a shim on it now. Do remember that? Uh, adjust this one. That one was nice and tight, wasn't tight before, was it? Is this the last bolt that's holding the engine, do you think? It's a long fucking drop if it is. Another spacer in there, look. Um, let me put you back on the tripod because I think uh, we might have a disaster here. Put you back on there. And how? down here and take the weight keep my feet away from it oh, thought that was it didn't you so did I. If the engine is going to drop forward, it's only going to drop onto these frame tubes, I would imagine. Ah, there we go. There's a spacer in there. So, I think that's all the bolts. Just the big long one now going all the way through. Let's take the nut off. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, he's gone through. Come round the other side. There she is. These are my grips. See if we can pull this one through with the mole grips. Break right through that bit. Of a spacer airlock. We need a diagram for these bloody spacers. Another one there. Okay, let's go for it. Whoop, well, that's that. Nothing's dropped. Don't look very promising, does it? Oh, I don't want to put my fingers inside that frame. I've not left. There's a spacer down there. Okay, we've got that four. We've got this four, and I don't think it wants to come out. There's no more bolts in there, is there? Let's give it a wiggle. Uh, I think it might be something to do with this space, I think. So do I.
Okay guys, so as you can see I'm struggling, it's not going to come out. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to have to take the front end off and pull it back up, lift the frame off it, or just turn it on its other side. But so, here goes. Nearly took my fingers off. When you try to remove an engine, don't put your fingers in the frame. Almost lost them. So, can we get it out now? Where's my dirty gloves? Are you going to come out now? Tell you what, it's a very tight fit in there. Very, very tight fit. Oh my god. It would have been easier to take the cylinder head off. Cool. Can you imagine when I painted this ring? It's got to be scratched to foot by the time. See water dripping. In another wee. Uh, grab it, boy. We have the engine out. There then. Get the wheel back in this and get it out of the way. Try and get it back up on its main stand. Okay, let's try and get the back wheel back in. Space this fell out, where's the spacer gone? Spacer back in first. Fall them out again. Sit on here. See if I can lift this back wheel back in. What's that bit in? Get the other two bits in. Space them back in. <laughs> I 
So let's get this back out of the garage, out of the way. Okay, put the top back on. Let's get this baby back upside down. Something under there crunching away. Was my floor? <laughs> it was. It was my shit floor. <clears throat> okay. Let's get the sump off. As you can probably see, I think there should be two of these. One there and one there. But that one snapped off. And somebody's tried to weld something on there looks like it's still leaking to me so anyway let's crack all these 10 mil bolts shall we oh 10 mil bolts hundreds on them Nearly there, almost there. Three more left. That's one. Okay. Let's lift this baby off. See what awaits us inside. Oh, well, it's not the full, it's not the fuel pump chain because that's there. I was expecting to see the generator chain as well, but I can't see it. Yeah, the state of that. So yes, there's the oil pump chain. That looks all right. Uh, I think that's the cam chain. There. I'm not sure. Yeah, it must be the cam chain. Or is it? I would have put the cam chains in the middle. So it seems the alternator chain is all right as well. So, I have no idea of what that big noise was. I suppose I'd best get a spanner on it and I and turn it over. Let me get a spanner. So let's uh, remove the access cover. What spanner was it? Yep, it's the right spanner. So let's rotate. See what we can see. <laughs> it won't rotate. Just will not rotate now. Huh? 
weird. We get the big ratchet on it. doesn't want to rotate now so the engine seized up can you believe that so it seized up for some reason and we're still none the wiser So yes, there we go, sump cover off, and we're still none the wiser again. Apart from it not rotating like it used to. Okay, so I've been thinking about it. The alternator could be seized up. So I'm going to get the alternator out and have a look. Uh, first I've got to get this sprocket cover thing out of the way. Just 8mm bolts for the sprocket cover. Push that out of the way. Still stuck on that one. Here we go. I like to take that off because there was a bolt hiding underneath it for the alternator. A 12mm socket. It's easier. Don't have a clue what I'm going to find. Don't know if the alternator chain is attached to it or what. from this side don't you? Get the chain off. So what can I say? Here we go. Still none the wider. The engine has seized up for some reason. So uh, rather than try and get this off, I think I've got to, now I think I've got to go to this side, take all the starter motor off. Take all the starter motor off and everything and I don't know, might be able to get to it from here in that side. But uh, you know, I think this engine's far too gone so I'm going to have to concentrate on the other engine. So like I say on the other engine, I've just got to uh, take the tensioner out and see if it's free to move because that might be why the cam chains rattling about so maybe in the next video or so I'll take the tensioner out of this one just for practice but I do need to get the workshop manual I tried downloading them online but they're all a load of crap. So I'm going to buy a workshop manual and because I'm sure there's a procedure that you have to do to take 
the cam chain tensioner out. So I don't want to take the cam chain tensioner out and knacker it up in some way because I'm not doing it in the right procedure. So anyway, we'll probably do that in another video. So that's about it for this one I think. So I'll see you uh, up there. So yes, that's about all we've got for this video. Uh, it is the second part of the engine removal, so at least we've got the engine out. So we've got that big part out the way. What I'm going to have to do is have a practice on taking this timing belt tensioner out, timing belt, timing chain tensioner out on this one. And uh, then I'll know how to do it on the spare engine in the garage, in the tin shed. So as always, thanks for watching, please leave a thumbs up, please, because they do help tremendously, and uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. I went out this morning, 25 past 5, came to the magic roundabout at Nuttall, sitting there at the lights, it was a frosty, it was frosty this morning so I had to clean all my windows off, even inside. Yes, yeah, so I had to clean all the frost off. And like I say, I was sitting at the magic roundabout traffic lights. Look to my left and there's this guy sitting there with his windows all frosted up. Well, I imagine it was a guy. And all you could see was a cigarette lighter on the glass, moving it about. How crazy is that? So he's drove all the way down that main road and he can't see through his windows and he's sitting at the traffic lights with his lighter on the glass to try and warm it up. I was just praying for it to shatter. Go on, please shatter, please shatter and then he'll be able to see through it. They're bloody idiots aren't they? What sort of person sits in the car and holds a cigarette lighter on the wind window? Because it's got frost on it. God. My arm was stuck. Some people are unbelievable. I've got my bag, haven't I? And I'm going to carry a bottle of milk without my bag. Not very easily, am I? I've come out to buy a six pints of milk and I haven't got my tank bag on. So uh, I can enjoy riding back home and getting my tank bag, can't I? Do you know what I mean? How can you forget to put your tank bag on when you want a bottle of milk? How can you forget to put your tank bag on when you want a bottle of milk?